friends, this is a special edition of the More to the Story podcast. I'm so glad that you could come along for this. And it's a special edition because I'm highlighting some firsthand interaction with the Asbury Revival that's happening in Wilmore, Kentucky. I don't know if it's proper to call it the Asbury Revival. It's the Jesus Revival, right? The Holy Spirit is working and active. And so I had a Facebook Live conversation with my niece, who's a freshman at Asbury University, and one of her friends, and then a couple of my friends who are at Asbury with me. And I was glad to be able to highlight their the, the way they've been impacted by this revival. Okay, so I have them. Now, sadly, the video, for those of you who are watching on YouTube, won't be able to see it there. I'm sorry about that, but you'll be able to hear it. And those of you who are listening to audio form of this, it'll be fine. And you might even notice that uh, my conversation with Olivia is such she can't hear me, and I had to type questions to her. But the point is, I was able to get her talking about it, and that's all I wanted. So you don't need... You don't need our interaction to make that happen. But also, I have a conversation I had with Steve Siemens, who was at the 1970 Asbury Revival. He taught at Asbury Theological Seminary, and he's somebody who has studied revivals. So he was there in 1970, and now he's there at this current revival, and he has a grandson who's there as well. So I think it's really interesting and special for me to hear from him, and I'm glad to share it with you. If you're interested in some of the things that come from my podcast, you can find out more about that type of stuff at my website at andymillerthe3rd.com. God bless you all. Hey friends, I am going live right now to connect with the revival that's happening at Asbury University. And honestly, I'm just getting kind of emotional um, even as we're kind of coming into that at this moment. Like it just is such a, a wild thought to me. So here's what we're gonna do. I have a niece who is there and she's been there since the very beginning. And I'm inviting her to come in to share what's happening and I have a, a few other friends who are there, so I'm hopeful that this is something that we can make happen. So as she comes on, it's just a little complicated, so as we get there, I'm going to see if she can, um, uh, she'll, she'll be able to request this. In case you haven't heard, um, there is there is there are several people um, who last, just yesterday at Asbury University, um, during a regular chapel service, they extended on. There's been a history of revivals that have happened there. I'm, I'm going to invite my, uh, uh, my my niece, Olivia, to come on. I think it might, might ask you to request. I'm going to see as soon as I can see that you're here, Olivia, then I will be able to um, bring you on. I think it should work for us to be able to do that. So it will be something that you can do. And anyhow, I'm really excited to be able to share, share this. Honestly, like I've been, I'm not jealous exactly. I'm thrilled that it's happening. And I just want to be able to be in a position to encourage people to continue to pray. And I actually I just hope that this will be something that can extend on to other locations as well. Oh, there's Olivia. I'm going to bring you on, Olivia, right now. And so that's, it's a real awesome thing. It's going to come here. I'll share this you know, along, along the way on my podcast and that kind of thing. That might be something that we can do. And if you get a link to this, I like, honestly, like what we hope to do. There she is. Hi. Hey, Olivia. Let me see. For some reason, my audio is not working, and I can't hear you. You can't hear me, huh? Okay. All right. Well, maybe I'll I'll text you a few questions. But um, I I got you. So you can't hear me. But let's see what we can do. I'm gonna. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. Well, why don't, why don't you? I'm gonna just send you a note, and I'm gonna ask you to tell us what's happening. So I'm I'm here. I'm just connecting with her. Um, okay. We, you can hear me now? Yeah, yeah. Great. Well, no, I can't hear you, but I saw your Great. Text. So I just um, said you okay. that. So tell so, us what's yeah. happening. We've, do you want me to take you inside? Sure, sure. I mean, I, I can take you and I can show you inside do a it. little bit. Do um, it. But we have, well, I'll take you inside in a second. But we've just been nonstop worshiping. We started yesterday after chapel. Um, and for some reason, chapel went long. And people just decided to stay in worship. And, you know, sometimes people stay in worship afterwards for like 10, 15 minutes. And it's like dissipates and the lord must have been working because today like that yesterday afternoon after chapel people just stayed and it was just a crowd began to like you know come to chapel and all, like we were getting texts from people we were getting emails like hey like come and join us here in chapel like there's people there's movement happening right. the holy spirit is here it's moving and so like i even was in like class and uh in morrison and somebody like ran down to the classroom was like hey like you guys got to come now like you've got to come you got to see what's happening here and so like we our professor was like okay class like let's get up and we went in and basically like 
it's just been amazing seeing like the Holy Spirit has been like poured out through the room. Like there's just been so much of the Holy Spirit moving throughout here. God's been so good. There's just been people worshiping here nonstop. Like they didn't even close chapel yesterday. Um, like they, people stayed overnight here, worshiping him, praising God, praying, like the whole thing. So, um, yeah, professors too. There have been professors praying over people. There have been testimonies left and right. Like it's just been amazing. We, uh, Dr. The president, President Brown was here for a little bit this morning, just worshiping with us. He's not here now, but um, yeah. he's a very busy man, I'm sure. But yes, so professors to everybody. There's people from the community even. Like we have adults like come up from the seminary and just people that um, I'm sure are from Lexington. We've had people come from Lexington and other universities as well. Just like be there and like join in. And so it's been like really incredible to see that. And so, yeah, great. Um, yeah, <laughs> sorry I can't hear you. That's kind of a bummer. Oh, I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm oh. sending you a message right now. Okay. And so I'm sending yeah. you a message. And but, uh, yeah, I can and... take you inside and show you a little great. bit of it. It might be really loud. Okay. That'd be great. But, Give us an idea um, of what's happening. Yeah. So. Well, this is great. As she's going in there. She give you guys this is live from the Asbury Revival. This is my way of getting there. Wow, this is great, Olivia. This is great, Olivia. Thank you so much. It's a little loud in here. So no problem, yeah. Um, but uh, it's just been incredible. Is it sound good here? It's yeah, okay. it's great. It's, great. Um, great. it's an incredible seeing like God, just because um, I've been dealing with a lot of like anxiety and like a little bit of depression lately. And it's just been like really, really difficult to bear like on top of my schoolwork. Um, I've been really like overwhelmed lately. And just like being here in this building, like you just walk in and you feel the Holy Spirit and you feel like that peace. And that's really what I've been like missing in my life is a sense of like peace and like, just um, so yesterday I got prayed over that like the peace and anxiety would like lessen and it's just every time I'm in this building it's it's amazing to see how God has given me that peace and it's shown me that like, I'm going to make it he's like he's my savior he's greater than anything that I could ever you know expect him to do and so it's like how dare I not expect him to be able to do that and so like seeing like him you move in other people's lives Awesome. So I just sent you another question, and I know you can't hear me, but others might. Uh, a lot of times, yes. yeah. um, like maybe people maybe if you even step out. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Are people confessing sin? Um, sorry, uh, did you say you wanted me to talk more about it? Um, or just, I sent you a question. Oh, you sent me another question? Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Okay. So I yeah. asked about people. Yeah. Yeah, people have been confessing sin and just really kneeling before the altar of God. And it's just really hard. Like yesterday we had testimonies, but it wasn't only testimonies. It was just like confessing sin and like just, yeah, people have been confessing, including myself. Like it's it's the freedom that the people are feeling in this space is amazing. It's not, it's not the shame is gone. The guilt is gone. You just feel this like acceptance, this love, God's true love in this space. And it's been really cool to see like how that's been working. Um, people have been like really courageous and brave, like to get up and courageous and brave to get up in front of everybody and like say like some of that stuff. But it's been amazing to see how God's like worked in their hearts. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Um, I, I just sent you a message. I just sent you a message. <laughs> okay. So I'd love to hear another. So you, friends who are online. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, so Let friends who are on right her. now. Um, Olivia okay. can't hear me, and that's okay. But at the college oh, that, that Abby and I met at, um, we, it, we have family on. This is my niece, who's uh, been in, uh, a part of a revival that's happening. At the and so she's going to get a friend. Uh, who's yeah, I grabbed her one second. So um, I'm not bothering her because she can't hear me at this point. So I'm going to just like uh, fill in okay, time. So while there's no answer. audio, so we can't hear him. But he's talking. He's sending me a question. So this is Megan. Um, Hi, Megan. She's good friends here. She plays tennis with me as well. Um, but he was asking if you would maybe feel comfortable sharing a little bit of what God's been doing in your 
So this is yeah, just texting question. I'm texting question right. circles. You can't hear me. <laughs> but we have some people. Um, yes, great. Is, um, <laughs> <laughs> coming into this, I didn't really know what to expect. I was just a little confused with what was going on. A lot of people were like, come, come to chapel. And I was like, okay, why? Well, it's the middle of the afternoon. Um, but I'm so glad I did. Um, worship is the way that the Lord speaks to me most. And so just like being in the presence of all these people in this community has just really helped me. I guess just grow my relationship with Christ. Um, I, I know that he's like poured into my spirit about just letting go and just giving it all to him about what I've been through in my past. So it's been a great experience. Yeah, so hopefully, usually he'll text me and send me another question. I don't know what's with the audio, but it's okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask like, just tell us what it feels like Oh. Just a historic yeah. building, those and use. type of things. So oh my gosh, it's so surreal. It's so surreal. It's unbelievable. I don't I mean, I've never seen so many people yeah. in a room. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, it's insane. Like you walk in and it's like no other feeling like you've ever felt. It's, it's just so much deeper than like that kind of like mountaintop like feeling you get when you go to camp. You know, like you get that one night of worship where everybody's like, you know, the Holy Spirit's there, but like, no, it's deeper than that. Like it feels like different in a way. And so... So some people might say, and I know you can't hear me, it's okay. Some people might say it's just emotionalism or you're just um, working yourself up. I think it up. is emotional. I mean, all of us have broken down in some type of way, you know, just giving it to God, whether crying or praising, whatever. Um, a lot of people have spoken about their testimonies, which have been really intriguing to just listen and just kind of hear about what someone else is going through because it may be the same that I've been going through or whatever, and I've been able to relate to some people in that way. Yeah. yeah. I think, I think, there is, I mean, you know, the Lord moves through like, us and through the Holy Spirit and touching us in different ways. And of course, that's going to be emotional. Um, I think that, like, in a sense of, like, is this just, like, emotions? Is this just, like, something like a high that we're experiencing with, like, worshiping with other people? I think I think it, it, there's no way it could be. Like, this is, this is a movement. This is the Holy Spirit that everybody's feeling. It's been going on for hours. It's literally been going on for more than 24 hours, which is insane. And going on 30. Right, going on 30. Wow. wow. Yeah, and so it's just, uh, it's I just think, an unbelievable experience. Yeah, it's, it's so mean, much deeper than that, like, baseline, like, feeling of, like, the Holy Spirit. No, like, the Holy Spirit is moving. God is moving in this place. So, so I'm asking another question. Were people there all night long? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I saw a bunch of people walking in with, like, pillows and stuff in bags and blankets, and they were ready. <laughs> Some guy brought his mattress from Johnson, like, pulled it from Johnson and slept there. Some other guy brought a hammock, like, I'm not really sure. Um, but yes, there were people just sleeping there overnight in an incredible way. So it's it's been really amazing to see, like, how the Lord is working through people and just how that's, like, affected the campus here as well. Because, like, you, I've had classes where there literally have been five people in the entire class. And you're like, okay, well, and the professor's like, where is everybody? Chapel. Everybody's at chapel. Wow. And so that's wow. been, like, really cool to see. So uh, I'm asking a question about <laughs> classes. So what has happened with the classes? Um, for me, all of my classes were actually canceled today, which is great. So it gave me the flexibility to just come at any time and just be in there and just worship. Um, but I know for some of my friends, they had to go to class. Yeah, I had um, class today. So. And so like I, I still had to show up. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. Moving, I guess moving into tomorrow, we'll see, you know, how this is still rolling, if this is still going. Um, we'll see if they end up canceling classes. Um, some professors are more lenient than others. Obviously, like, her professors canceled class. Um, I had a like, chem lab today, and so I had to be there. Um, but, like, most, I missed a class yesterday, and I, t like, emailed the professor. I was like, listen, the Lord is moving in Hughes. Like, can I please, like, I'm just going to let you know, like, I'm not going to be at your class. I'm really sorry. And he, like, he was completely understanding. He was like, don't even worry about it. Like, I... I would love to be there myself. Wow. So, Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'm asking another question. For those of you who are coming in a second, they can't hear. They can't hear me. But yeah. I'm just, I'm texting. This is my movie. <laughs> are we eating? I okay. just, I That's did. a really good question. Yes. Um, um, we're taking like breaks. Are you, I, I asked the question. Yes. Like eating. if there's a little bit of like yeah. downtime or just like just your own time with the Lord, some people yeah. will step out, grab some food. They actually ordered us Little Caesars pizza. Yeah, last night last everybody night. stayed there so and they, they just ordered food. pizza. They yeah. ordered snacks. Like they've, we have cases of water bottles there. And the chapel team's been like giving us water or snacks outside yeah. of chapel just for us to just snack. 
snack on, or we can just go to the cafe or beach or right. whatever. Right. So I, um, yeah, I had like a donut this morning because they brought donuts for everybody. But honestly, I didn't have time to stop for lunch, and I was just worshiping. So, to answer your question, no, not yet. I'm not really today. Too far today. Yeah, so I've had a donut. Excited. I've just been praising the Lord. So, <laughs> yeah. I said, I, I said, it sounds yeah. really healthy. Yeah. That's what I say there. Something like that. Yeah, but, um, no, that's but, great. You know. Yeah. I'm just, the Lord will sustain us in some way or another, and, you know, we're just praying on that, so. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, so I have a friend who might be coming, um, I'm, I know you can't hear me. Um, yeah, I can, we can't hear you, but um, that's okay. But it, I'm asking if I have a friend who's around, is my friend, sorry, I'm not that great of a typer. Oh, <laughs> Oh my gosh, I know, so good. Sorry, we're still talking about a song we can hear. Oh, okay, song. well, like I don't want to keep you. I don't want to keep you. Um, um, I don't know who that is. Okay, no problem. No, he no may problem. be here, um, but I don't know who that is, I'm sorry. Um, no, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. Let, so, um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get, connect there at the same time. Okay. Okay, <laughs> so, one, um, let me ask one more question. One more question. One more question, okay. Um, like and charades over here. Like <laughs> one word. Like <laughs> there you go. One more question. Just coming. What do you hope comes from this? Hope comes with this. Mm. That is a good question. Um, I mean, I can start. I think that I hope that this is like this is something that lasts and this forms like deep connections with people. This isn't just some like mountain high, like mountain top experience where people are like, oh, that was the Holy Spirit, and then when this ends. Like, I don't want them to go back to their daily lives. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to be changed. I want to look around campus and see that change, like God's love, how it's changing people and how it's changing the campus and how it's changing, like, relationships as well. You know? Like, I want I want this to be, like, a permanent thing where people can, like, now um, go from God's love and the, like, love that they felt this weekend and just, like, spread that around campus, spread that around their environment. Like, whether that's even not on campus, just, like, around the area. We, we want this to spread like wildfire, you know, like we want this to do, not just be an Asbury thing, for this to be a Lexington thing or a Kentucky thing, like, you know? Yeah, um, absolutely. Um, for yeah. me, I mean, I already feel like God's been moving in me just in this, this past, like, 30 hours, which has been um, amazing. Um, but for me, reading the Bible in the morning is not something I normally do or just at night even. I just read it kind of on my own time, like, when I want. But this morning I actually got up and I was, like, so passionate to just, like, read the Bible and just, like, pray to me before coming back um, to worship this morning. And I'm so glad that I did that because it's just kind of given me more of a positive day. And just, I mean, it's beautiful outside, too, which helps. Um, so yeah. It's, it's been a really great 30 hours. And I yeah. hope it continues to go because, I mean, it's really changing all of us, for sure. Awesome. I can definitely tell I just love the it. community of the room is changing. So, yeah. Thank, thank so, you well, so I'll much. Take you. Take yeah, us in one more time for one more look. Just to then, show us. Since, since some of us can't get yeah. It's great to be able to see this. I'm again with my niece, Olivia Rogowski, who's at the Asbury Revival. And she's just giving a little view of what's happening here. This is wonderful. All right, I see some of my friends who are on there checking this out as well. Um, it's like I see a lot of people okay. in this area. It's well, like we, I, I hope you can hear the music and everything. Um, but yeah, all right. Well, thank you so much. Thanks so Talk much. Thank you. you. All right, love you. All right, love bless you. you. All right, well, we are on just live there with my niece Olivia Rogowski, as she was in. Um, she's in Wilmore. She's a, she's a freshman at Asbury University. Um, my, my parents have been there. My brother, he had to go to a conference today, but they've had a revival that's been going on for over 30 hours and um, special, special moment. And boy, I just got to get emotional thinking about it. And probably it's, maybe the Lord is helping me not be able to. Um, hey, Josh Callahan, I see you there. If you're there, maybe I could pull you in since you're there live. Um, uh, you could, yeah, I could bring you on. Uh, you might be able to, you might have to like my page, but if you, if you can hear me, Josh, I'd love to get your thoughts. Uh, maybe I can send you a text as well. Um, but I'd love to get, I, I, I saw Tom McCall there too. I was trying to get, get him on. But then again, why would somebody want to talk to me when they can be in there? You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to be there either. Um, I'm going to ask Josh if he can come on live with me too. Um, 
So if uh, you have to like my page, unfortunately, that's how this works. Um, okay, great. So Josh, if you, if let me see if you can, um, you might have to go on and let's see if I can get you here. Um, oh, okay, great. I'm going to add you in. I'm going to send you an invite, Josh. So I'd love to get just a brief word from you. So get some different perspectives. And if you see, um, hey, there he is. Hey, there we are. All right. Hey, Andy. Oh, good. Uh, uh, Olivia's mom just saw I was with my, uh, my niece who was on live uh, with me for a few minutes uh, from Hughes. Are you there too? So I, I'm, at, I'm home right now. I was okay. there for about three hours this afternoon and came home gotcha. for a little bit. So I was just summarizing what's happened, and I'll give them, uh, my, my niece is there live, and so she was able to come in and show us what's going on. Hughes, it's a real blessing to see this. Sure. So Josh, you work in a ministry that supports Asbury, uh, yep. Asbury University. So tell us, what, 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 what's been your experience with what's going on? Yeah. So, uh, you know, we found out, uh, I guess I found out about 1 o'clock yesterday afternoon that chapel was still going. Uh, went back around 4 and it was it's just been a sweet time of you know worship the, sh the students singing together and then uh the spirits just really guiding those in leadership of, you know what we to be praying for um you know there's been i guess twice now that i've been there they've had different times of asking for healing prayer uh, people coming forward being anointed and, and prayed over uh then this afternoon there was a real man it was just really powerful time of confession and repentance and um students just flooding the altar, uh, just confessing their sins. Uh, you know, the community is pouring in, many from the seminary are coming over, uh, and uh, just residents of Wilmore, it's just been really, really sweet. Yeah, nice. oh man, I'm so glad. And yeah. I, I hope you got, I, I, there's a little jealousy, but it's not, not <laughs> sure. really rising up that much, but there's like, <laughs> no, this, my, my sense is like, uh how can i get right and so there's, there's a lot happening so i'm really glad um i'm really glad it's worked out um for you guys to be there and for the and just hearing from right people Tom called just sent me a message to like yeah. the video of what's going on so anyhow i'm just so thankful that you guys are there and be able to have this experience oh. anything else you'd like what well, like how do you describe it? i mean you've been in, in uh, ministry for more than you know a decade and, and like what makes this different yeah you know it's it's one of those times it's, it's really hard to find the words to describe what is happening um i think you, there is just this this unity of the spirit moving um bringing bringing people together and everyone yeah everyone is expectant of big things um and uh yeah i don't i don't know uh, <laughs> Yeah, you just know that there is no human controlling this. Yeah. You know, uh, there's there's no emotional games being played uh, here. The spirit is just having his way in people, and it is exciting to see. I love. It. Is that Kelly? I heard yep. a yeah there. She's yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, yeah. You agree, Kelly? Yes, I agree. <laughs> um, and yeah, and everybody's just being sensitive to the spirit. I think. Um, I had somebody come up to me today, and she was like, "I don't like. I'm not supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be at work, but I." Somebody canceled, and so I had an hour free. And she's like, I think I'm here for you. I think wow. I'm here to pray for you. Yeah. And so we had a real precious time of prayer. Um, yeah. Healing, like freedom, it felt like freedom. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. yeah. Now, now uh, this this is either one, Kelly, you know, like you and I were at Asbury together. We went to a couple hundred chapels together. I think we even sat yeah. by and each other, close to each other one time. <laughs> so, like, uh, you know, how would you describe what's different? from a regular church service or even a former another chapel? Yeah, I think um, I think once when we were at Asbury, chapel ran over. Um, and it just, just seems like everybody is wanting to linger and to be with everyone and to be with God. Um, I, the sermon yesterday was um, on like the love that God is inviting us to give people. Yeah. It isn't something that we can manufacture. Like we can't love like that. Wow. It yeah. has to be us receiving the love of God before we can give that kind of love. And um, so I think that is really, it's, I think that's one, one of the things that's different is that everyone's recognizing that we can't make this happen. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
And so we're really dependent. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks for get, letting me just bug you. And Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just glad just I caught you online. I'm glad you, guys, glad you guys are there and able to help help with some of the leadership in that moment and being around for the students like I know you all are doing regularly through Francis Asbury Society yeah. Yeah. and all those things that you all are doing. So yeah. anyhow, thanks for coming on with me for a Absolutely. second. And uh, holy jealousy, but nevertheless, <laughs> praising You're God. Welcome. All that. Come on up. Come on up. I know. You, you never know. You might be hearing me knocking on your door at 2 a.m. Okay. or something. Oh, you're great. You're welcome. welcome. You're welcome. All right. Bless you guys. <laughs> All right, Coming on. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. See ya. So everybody See ya. here, just, just checking in with folks to let you know what's happening. I just, uh, uh, seeing what's happening at Asbury University, I felt like I wanted to get uh, get a little first glimpse of what's happening, like a firsthand encounter. And so I had my niece, Olivia, uh, fa uh, not FaceTime, what am I doing here? Facebook, Facebook Live. I'm Facebook Living. And so we are able to get connected there. Um, so. It's great. We just pray God will continue to work in other places and work there for those students and the faculty and staff and community members who are coming and participating. So uh, what a blessing that God's moving in that way. And let's keep praying. All right. Thanks for checking it out. I don't know if I'll publish this in some other way, um, but at least it's here on my, on my page. God bless you all. Thanks for coming along.